It's probably a safe assumption that if you're working out, you're trying to get better. Although there's a myriad of ways to go about this, there's one specific method that stands out as being the simplest and most effective for beginners, and that's called linear progression. There are two ways to think about this, the first being simply adding weight, and the second being adding volume. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, it depends on your priority or your goals, but you have to pick one. With any exercise, it's safe to start out with three to five sets of 10 to 15 reps. If you pick the first method, adding weight, then all you'll do is add 10% to each workout. For example, three sets of 10 on a squat with 100 pounds. The next time that you do the workout, you'll do three sets of 10 at 110 pounds, and then so on and so forth for as long as you can until so you can no longer keep up that pace. For beginners, two to three times a week for this specific exercise is a good starting point. And you can do this for probably three or four weeks before you start to hit that point where you're failing. This is simply your body saying that it needs rest. So listen to it and take a week or two where you're just doing some moderate or different exercises. And then feel free to jump into the same linear progression with a higher starting weight or start a new program. The same concept can be applied to volume or the amount of repetitions that you do. Following our example of three sets of 10 on a squat, instead of adding weight, every time that you repeat this exercise, you'll add reps. So three sets of 10 turns into three sets of 11 the next session, and then three sets of 12 or 13, and so on and so forth until again, you can't complete the same progression. This can really be done with any exercise, but for upper body exercises, it's a little bit safer of an assumption to do 5% jumps instead of 10% jumps. But for beginners, you can go anywhere in between and do what's best for you or what challenges you. The good news is that you're almost guaranteed to make progress as long as you have a plan and you stick to it. Let me know if this helps and I'd love to hear what your favorite way to progress is. Thanks.